tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. Well, we're into the gardening season and lots of people are having great success with their gardens this year due to some well-deserved rain in the area. But we are having a lot of questions come into the office about tomato plants. And so I just wanted to cover a few of the most common ones that I receive, um, especially this time of year as people are starting to pick tomatoes or maybe wishing they were picking tomatoes but haven't just gotten there yet. Um, one of those questions is simply that, the tomato plant's not setting on fruit, why not? Well, there could be a few different reasons for that. One is that when the temperatures are above 95 degrees and it's hot and windy, the tomato plants just simply won't set fruit. If they have blossoms, a lot of times they'll abort those blossoms when it's that hot and windy. If the night temperatures are above 75 degrees at night, they won't set fruit. And so if you remember, we've had some of those weeks where the winds were blowing and it was over 100 degrees. That means that that tomato plant is not actively setting fruit at that time. And a lot of times it takes about two to three weeks for a plant to recover from that. So that in and of itself is a pretty significant reason why we're not getting some of the tomatoes setting on like we should. The other thing that can happen is that you might have all this plant growth, but no tomatoes. And, and if you fertilize a great deal throughout the garden season, or maybe you use a lot of nitrogen at the beginning of the year, sometimes you can end up with excessive growth and no fruit. So you wanna make sure you're not over fertilizing your tomato plants. Um, finally, another reason why we might not have fruit set on tomato plants is the fact that we don't have um, enough sunlight. Tomato plants are a fruiting plant, and so they need at least six to eight hours of sun every day. And I know sometimes if you live in town and you have some trees, um, maybe that's not possible in your backyard, but you have this nice big plant and no fruit. You need to make sure you're getting enough sunlight. Other questions that I get about tomato plants are as they start to ripen, some of the tomatoes will have yellow spots or discoloration on them. And this is an indication of some stink bug damage. This is an insect that has a piercing mouth part, and so it sticks it into the skin of the tomato, sucks the juices, and causes that little circle of discoloration. If it's pretty significant, it can be throughout that tomato um, and cause it to look pretty, pretty rough. But it's not something that would actually hurt the, the health of the tomato. It still can be used, um, so it's nothing to be concerned about there. The other thing to rem uh, recall or remember is that stink bugs feed for only a short period of time. So hopefully as this goes on through the season, it will disappear and you won't notice as much stink bug damage. So we really don't recommend any treatment for that. The other thing that I often get calls about at this time of year is something called blossom end rot. And this is where you have a tomato on the plant and it's just starting to turn, or maybe it hasn't even turned yet, and that end where the blossom was attached starts to rot. And this can affect tomatoes, but it can also affect peppers, squash, zucchini, pumpkins, things like that. And so, um, you know, that is caused by a lack of calcium actually in the fruit, not a lack of calcium in the soil, because we have plenty of that in this part of Kansas, but actually as the plant grows, um, those roots, just aren't able to keep up with the, the requirements of the top of the plant. And so sometimes it'll bypass the fruit to go to the leaves and you'll end up with some calcium deficiency symptoms also known as blossom end rot. Once again, that's something that as the season goes on and that root system kind of catches up or recovers, um, you'll, you'll get rid of that and you won't notice it anymore. There are varieties that are more prone to that than others. Uh, one last thing to mention on tomato plants is that, you know, the leaves during times of stress will curl. And this is a natural thing that tomatoes will do. It's called physiological leaf curl, and it's just a response to stress. So if we have hot winds, or sometimes even if we have a very heavy rainfall event um, and keeps the soil saturated for a length of time, that can cause some of this curling leaves. Or if you've hoed the garden or pulled a lot of weeds around the plant and disturbed the root system, sometimes that will cause this leaf curl. Nothing to be concerned about. 
Once again, as that root system recovers, that leaf curl will go away, or as conditions improve, that will go away. So there are lots of different things that could be happening with tomato plants, but hopefully you'll end up with some nice tomatoes. We have some just starting to set on here at the Ag Research Center in Hayes. And as the season goes on, hopefully we'll be picking a lot out of this plot here. And, and uh, for those of you around town, hopefully you will be as well. If you have questions about your tomato plants, please don't hesitate to contact your local Extension office for more information. We have lots of great information at the office and on our website, including fact sheets about all of the issues that I just mentioned. So if you need something in writing or on paper to refer back to in the future, please contact our office for more information. Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.